Good morning, everybody. Can I ask you a question before we start? How many times do you eat a day? Three times? Or maybe even more? Can you imagine not being able to eat for seven years? Let's find out if the people in our Bible story today will be able to have food or not. Let's go! For the past two weeks, we have been studying about the story of Joseph. Well, it doesn't end there. We will continue to see the journey Joseph had to go through. But before I tell you, let us first pray. So let's fold our hands, close our eyes, and bow down our heads. Dear Lord and Heavenly Father, I pray that when things don't go our way, Lord, that you will remember you have a perfect plan for us. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. So, now that we are ready, let us open our Bibles to Genesis chapter 41. Joseph was still in prison, waiting for that one day he would be released. Well, two years later, and that day finally came. What happened was this. Pharaoh was lying in bed one night and had a really bizarre dream. He dreamt that seven great beefy cows were eating by the side of the river, when suddenly another seven skinny cows came along and swallowed the fat ones whole. When Pharaoh woke up, he was really panicking. He knew that his dream was important and had a message behind it, but he couldn't work out what it was. Pharaoh called the best magicians in the country, but no one could work out what his dream meant. Then one day, the cupbearer suddenly remembered Joseph. He immediately told Pharaoh, and Joseph was brought out of prison and in front of Pharaoh. Joseph knew that by himself, he could never help. So he trusted God would be with him and would give him the answer to Pharaoh's problems. And God did. He showed Joseph that the country was going to have seven great years of wealth, where everyone would be rich and have plenty to eat, followed by seven years of famine. So if Pharaoh wasn't careful in managing the resources during the seven years of abundance, thousands would die when the seven years of famine came. As soon as Pharaoh heard what Joseph said, he knew what he was saying was true. Pharaoh could see that God was with Joseph and asked him to lead the country through the famine. That ends part three of our story about Joseph for today. Now let us go through the reflection questions together. Number one, how do you think Joseph felt when he was in prison? Number two, what evidence do we have from the story that tells us that Joseph's faith in God never wavered? And number three, how can we hold on to our faith in God? Just like Joseph, God's good plans for us. To remind us of this, let us recite our memory verse. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not evil, to give you a future and a hope. Great, let's recite that once more. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not evil, to give you a future and a hope. Today's memory verse is a very close one to my heart. I hope it is something that we can remember whenever we are going through tough times. Now that we are done with our memory verse, let us go ahead and start our arts and crafts. Hello everyone! For today's craft, we will be making God is First Love. So get ready with your arts and crafts materials. Prepare your bad paper or osto paper, colored paper, scissors, glue and tape, thumb tops, and crayons or colored pens. Now we're ready for step 1. Time to make the base. Draw a round shape on your bad paper or osto paper and make a big and small arrow on your colored then cut it all out.
more details. Write God first at the top of your paper, then write first at the tip of the big arrow, then glue it in the middle. Step 3. Time for finishing touches. Draw the things you want to do or have around your shape. And lastly, attach the small arrow using thumbtacks and write them. And there you have it! Our God is first luck. This clock will remind us to put God first before anyone and anything else. We hope you enjoyed our Sunday school today. We will see you next week. Bye!